Hi guys. So we are going to go over really quickly daily drawings and art analysis. These are the two different things that we need to accomplish during bell ringer every single day. So let's start with our daily drawings. Back on the back board, there's actually a big example of what daily drawings look like. I've got the four drawings and the composition notebook kind of drawn out. This starting on your second full week of school. So it'll be technically your third week because Thursday and Friday y'all come in right after y'all came in after um, Christmas break, winter break. Um, but this is going to be started on the third, the, the second full week, the third week of school. You need this book every single day. It should be formatted. You should have already started putting your table of contents and all that fun stuff where it needs to be. On this particular example, daily drawings are on 71. Check your page number. I'm pretty sure yours are in the 60s. So daily drawings, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Every single week, you guys are going to have to do these. Um, they need to be entirely in pen on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. They will be inked, period. You lose points if they're not. Every week is worth 25 points. So these are a bell ringer. These are a grade. You get five points for having all of your picture planes. You get five points for having all of your dates. You get five points for writing all of your answers in complete sentences, I might add. No IDKs. That does not count ever. You get five points for making an attempt at the drawing. And the final five points are that you did all of them. Okay? That's how they're graded. I am not grading you on skill. I am not grading you on talent. I am grading that you are following instructions, following format, and putting things in the right location. This is stuff that you should be able to do in every class following the instructions. So I flip it open, kind of, and you should have your table of contents sitting over here on page one. Your book should already be fully numbered. And this one happens to be on page 71. Like I said, I'm pretty sure yours is in the 60s. This is what your pages should look like. Do I mind if you have scribbles in places? No, not actually. As long as I can see your drawing, as long as I can see your answers, as long as I can see your labels, we're good to go. Every single week should have a week label on it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All of them should be very clearly visible. This is the picture plane. It is the outer rim of the image. Everything that is in your picture plane on that board needs to be on your drawing. This is the date. I'm not expecting you, and in fact, I don't want you to write Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If you want to write it to keep track of where they go, that's fine. I want the actual physical date because I grade by date, not by day. You write Monday every single week. You see how that works for me? In truth, I do not expect you to fully finish, but I do expect to see the eight to 10 minutes that you are supposed to be spending drawing these. I can tell when you don't and you lose points for not putting in real effort, okay? So you have your picture plane that is the outside image. If you look closely, none of those are the same size. Every one of them are a different size. Your images that you have to draw will be in a different size. They will be in a different orientation. Some of them will be portrait. That means taller, okay, vertical. Some of them will be horizontal. I don't have one in this point because this one just happens to be a perfect square. Horizontal, so they'll go left to right. You're actually allowed to rotate the book. If you don't have enough space and you need to rotate the book to draw it this way, you can do that. You will have an answer task. Every single day, every one of them will have a question that you need to answer. Some will ask you to list. Some will ask you to explain. I am not looking necessarily at right and wrong. I am looking for relevancy. So if I'm asking you how does hierarchy apply in this image and you write that the color is blue, we have a bit of a problem. That's not how that works. So you need to make sure that you're doing your drawings every single day. If you are absent, write the word absent in that book. Say, I was absent on Thursday. Well, Wednesday. I was absent Wednesday. But I need my date, or I need my week label. I need my dates in the margin for every one of them. I need my picture planes. I need my answer task. I need my drawings. You want to do it in that order. That's your daily drawing. 
Your art analysis is in a different section. This is Fridays only. You will have notes and other drawings in here when you get to this. But your, your, your art analysis takes up that entire page. You're going to do a quick sketch. Art analysis gets to be in pencil. I do not want full details. I just want you to quickly kind of represent what's here. You're going to write the artist information. This is going to be on every single slide. The title of the piece, the date, and the artist. There might be some information missing, but it'll tell you that it's missing. The bottom half of your page will be your answer task. Every art analysis has something I want you to think about. For this particular one, I see versus I think. So you're going to make an observation, an observable fact, and then you're going to draw a conclusion. You're going to assume something, <coughs> excuse me, based on that fact. So for the Mona Lisa part, what you're going to be doing is you're going to say, I see, therefore I think. So for this particular piece, I see that she is wearing a nice dress, therefore I think her family must be wealthy. You will have to make five different observations for this particular piece, but this is one week. I don't expect your drawings to be perfect. I do expect you to make a legitimate effort. I should at least be able to recognize. You are welcome to use stick figures, but at least put them in the right positions. Those are your daily drawings and your art analysis. There will be 18 weeks of daily drawings. There will be four grades for art analysis. So every four weeks, I'm going to collect those grades, and you're going to fill that book up. That's how these work. Make sure you get that done. Have a good one.